Hi, my name is Solren and I'm a scientist here at Simran Peacock. Today I will demonstrate to you how we are testing one of our CP glycerol sensors. In order to do so, you need a CP meter um, and an application for the glycerol sensor. And then you need two reagents. You need the CP glycerol activation reagents which is a lyophilized reagent, and you need the CP sample diluent. In addition to this, you also need the sample in which you are testing for glycerol. And of course, last, last but not least, the glycerol sensors. So what we will start by doing is to install the software on the computer. So what I will do is to double click this icon here. I will agree to the license agreements Click next and I will install it on my desktop. And I'll click finish. And now the application is automatically starting to run. It says that no uh, meter is connected. So I will insert the CP meter into the computer using a uh, USB port. I will select the appropriate port and click connect. The CP meter is now uh, successfully connected to the computer. The next step is for us to prepare the activation solution. As I mentioned, this is a live lyse reagent. We need to add 20 microliters of the CP sample diluent. I will head it gently towards the tabletop just to make sure that the lyophilized reagent is in the bottom of the vial so that it's easier to mix. I will prepare 20 microliters of the CP sample diluent into the vial. And then I'll dispose of the pipette tip and I will mix it and make sure that it's a homogeneous mixture. Now I will follow the guidelines of the application. It says to insert the sensor. So I'll insert the sensor into the meter like this and then I will pipette 40 microliters of the testing sample onto the sensor. Be sure to cover all the electrodes of the sensor and be careful not to scratch the surface of the sensor. Now that this is completed, I will add a sample ID. It needs to be a minimum of eight characters. I will call it test 1111. I will start running the test. This is the first measurement out of two measurements. What it is doing now is it's polarizing the sample and it's a pre-treatment of the sample itself. Afterwards, we will activate the sample uh, this measurement will take about two minutes, so in order to save time, we will speed up the video. Now the measurement is done, and it's asking for a place to store the data. So I've made a folder on the desktop, which is called Glycerol Test, and I'll click Select. And now, that, now it's successfully uploaded to this folder. I now need to activate the sample. I do this by adding two microliters of the activation solution onto the sensor. Yeah. I'll add it straight into the uh, sample that is already uh, deposited on the, on the electrodes, but I'll make sure not to scratch the surface and I'll try to mix it by pipetting in and out a few times just so that we will obtain a 
mixed sample with the activation solution. All right, I'll dispose of the bipad tip and I will call this next test, test 1112. I will click start test. And yet again, uh, we have to wait two minutes for the measurement to finish. So in order to save time, we will speed up the recording. Now the second test is completed and we save the data yet again in the same folder. As if we open the folder, you can see it here. You can also find the data uploaded to our database, Julie. Here you can see the four lower tests, which are the tests we just did. Um, there are two tests per uh, measurement because we are doing a pretreatment and a measurement during the uh, run. If you have any inquiries, don't hesitate to contact us at simranpeacock.com. Thank you for watching this video.